GISB is a project that looks to the far future to see what's going to happen to the human race. It brings children together because if we're going to look to the far future, we have to start with children. They are the future. That means that we take children who are 11 years old, bring them together, let them learn uh, how possible it is to be friends with anyone anywhere in the world. Because in their little camp or village with 10 or 12 nationalities, they live for a month and get acquainted with one another. And when I say living together, I mean doing what children usually do at the age of 11 in a summer camp. Baseball is one way that they can kind of get together without really talking. And uh, they really do like it. And I like to see that because, you know, American is baseball. I like the swimming, and um, I like the CISB group where we do activities. There's lots of things to do. Like, in some, some places you go to, um, you just dawdle about. No, you've got nothing to do, but yeah, there's all the time to, things to do. In 1946, I was in New York City on a consulting job in psychology, and I was alone in this dormitory building and office building, and uh, took the New York Times under my arm down to the East River and sat on a bench. And I opened the magazine section to an article proposing that there should be an institute or a university at the United Nations where uh, graduate students could come in the interests of world peace. And as I read on and on, I just thought this is all wrong. It is focusing at the wrong end of the scale. If you want to have the greatest impact of dollar for dollar and hour for hour, you would take a person below adolescence. And both the age 11 is old enough to carry the stamp of the culture. So that when you get children together from many countries, you have an international situation. Nationality Night is a night in which uh, a particular nation presents aspects of its culture. To share, I think there is a feeling of sharing, not just to inform. I think the word inform is too impersonal. But that sharing is a very important part of the village.
Many times when you speak to persons, they ask you, but isn't this a utopia in a way? And I always tell them that maybe it is when you hear that first, but when you know the background of it and you see the research we do on villages, both ordinary and experimental ones, you realize that today we've already had 20,000 11-year-olds going through camps, getting the CISV spirit, and they are growing up and someday one of our aim goals and hopes is that these children participating in CISV camps will, by their education and adult uh, life, try to uh, uh, widen the spirit so they will put pressure on maybe future leaders. Maybe in the end we will prevent wars because some of those leaders with the CISV background will actually do CIs we work in social life. Do you think 11-year-olds can make a contribution to world peace? Maybe, yeah. How? Oh. By meeting, and meeting other children. Yeah. Like this. Mm -hmm. And when, when your children, when you grow up, um, you, you'll still remember them. If you're really good friends, you'll still remember keep in them. touch. Uh, 1971, I went to Norway, and uh, I had a real good experience there. And I met a junior counselor, Espen, uh, who's a Norwegian, and I really had a, a good time there. And in fact, we still write to each other. So, and I'm still interested in CISV, as he is too. So, that's how I kind of kept with it. I, it seems like anybody who sees CISV likes it, loves it, and they really get involved. But the only way they don't get involved is if they've never never really had an experience with it. So I think the important thing is to spread it to anybody and everybody. It's important for a child, and I might say for any person of any age, to learn through action. So with the children, we want them to live together in a real live way and uh, not just study about different nationalities, but to uh, brush their teeth together and uh, to live this out in a simple environment where they don't use all of their energies just to live. Children living four weeks with seven to 10 languages learn that Languages does not need to be a real barrier. Se comunica por señas y he conocido a muchos niños. We use our hands a lot to okay. communicate. And we draw pictures. Although there is the language barrier, it's just great to see the children just talking together through their hands or their faces or eyes, you know, mm -hmm. and they get through. That's great. Have your, have your children in your delegation changed in any way during this period? Yes, they have, you know, taken on the responsibility of um, getting their thing, getting things done, like um, away from home, the parents not doing it for them. And, you know, they have, they really have changed. Also, these children learn something about governing themselves in the face of all the languages, all the differences of culture, that one has with 12 nationalities. They have their own children's parliament. There are sessions in which they discuss any problems of the camp, or put it this way, they suggest what would make this a very, very, very happy place in which to live. Oh, it's been great so far. Yeah, it's been fun. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que el campamento es algo muy bonito porque reúne a todos los niños de todo el mundo. In my room, I've got a, a girl from Sweden. She's called uh, Flotty, and there's a girl from Italy, and she's called Federica. Nel nostro tutti amici e donaste di altri, cioè senza ricevere niente in cambio. Real fast. In learning, it's not only action, but it's also creation. Okay, 
how do you say big in Italy? Grande. Grande, okay. And finish. Okay, I want it big. So we like to have the children creative sometime, part of the time that they are there in the village, not just following adult leaders. And the creativity has to do with the innermost expression of the self. And if we want a world at peace, we have to have deep convictions within the individual for a world society. And therefore, we want the person to be opened deeply from within. And we don't want the child to go through four weeks of fun without this depth of impact. I hope in the future that we will have all nations represented in CISV. I hope that we will learn from our researches so we'll make better camps, we'll spread our ideas, and we have a very, very um, serious message to bring to the world. So we don't need any more wars. That's what I mean by saying we have to go on with more villages, villages in every country and around the world. It really comes down to the question of survival, especially now with nuclear power. After all, it is not the wolf or the whale that is the endangered species. It's we ourselves. <laughs>